Hey, Bob Chick with IFBB Pro and Tony. We're at the Iowa Battle of Champions, our third year here in, and a great turnout once again. Some top pros here at the show. Oh, yeah. They're going to be battling it out. That's why they call it the Battle of Champions. Absolutely. Uh, actually, we got the NPC Battle of Champions here as well, and a pretty good turnout for the amateurs here. A lot of out-of-state folks in for the show, so a nice NPC uh, awareness going on all over the country and certainly uh, here in Iowa. Drawing them in, that's what we plan, that's what we set out to do, so. Well, first year was good, second year was better, third year seems to be the charm, but it looks like everything's kind of come together. Great venue and hotel, I understand this place is supposed to be haunted. I don't believe in that. I don't believe that for a second. But... Jack said he saw a ghost in the curtain yesterday, but you know, hey, Jack sees a lot of things. It's the ghost of Joe Weeder looking down, <laughs> hey, watching like us all. That. That's yeah. good, yeah, yeah. Well, there's got to be some good ghosts around, but uh, well, Ann, let's talk about the show for a minute. Uh, you're in off-season mode, which is great. You deserve a little time off. Congratulations, of course, on thank you. Uh, especially on the Olympia this year, Ann. Top thank six. You. Thank you. Thank you. Very nice. So you get a little bit of time off, not a lot, because I know you're going to be right back in action. Uh, Arnold, I'm guessing? I'm going to put in for an invite, yeah. Right. I never count my chickens before they hatch. No, don't ever. Whoever does. You know. Uh, we'll I see. got a sneaky suspicion you'll probably get the invitation. I'd like to think so. Well, if you get declined, I don't know who gets one, but uh, we'll talk about that later on. But let's talk about this competition. Let's we only do got that. 12 pro bikini athletes, but we got some good names in there. Absolutely. You got that's where you're cute to give oh, us some names. Top notch, Charmin Narman. Charmin Narman. You got to love that one. The only rhyming name we got so far, but I'll come up with a few others. Crystal Green's here. Yeah, Crystal Green from Crystal, Colorado. We've Lacey also DeLuca. got uh, Lacey DeLuca. Now. Why is Lacey DeLuca going in this competition? She, well, you know what? I, I, I can respect her train of thought because if it's anything like mine, when you're doing good, this is, I was posed this question, when you're doing a show, you just won. Why are you doing this one? When you're doing good, you don't just stop. You just keep going. And I mean, if you're on a roll and you're doing well, ride the wave. I mean, I mean it makes if, sense to me. If you found your package and you're doing well and you can do a show after show, I say go ahead and do it. I, you know, it's not a bad mentality. Listen, you pros are competing to win. They're, they're here to win money. Uh, they're here to get put titles in their pocket and obviously uh, try to get to the Olympia in the best shape you can, uh, you know, with, with some push, you know, with, with some media behind it. Absolutely. So, um, you know, I don't necessarily go against that. Uh, another top name, uh, name in the competition, Dana Maleton in the show. Um, what does Dana need to do to break into that top two slot? It always seems to be perennial third and fourth. I don't know. You know, honestly, I, I think... Um, you can't always just change your physique. It's not always about changing your physique. Uh, the presentation, just how you present yourself, um, can easily win or lose a show. Now, does it matter more in bikini and presentation than it does in something like figure where you compete? Mm, or is it all equally? I would say that it's just as important, in my opinion. Well, that's a good opinion to have. You seem to be doing well. So, um, And I'm guessing if you were to look back at some of your first shows, oh, that, the, that, that the presentation <laughs> has changed quite drastically from when you first started to where you are now. Absolutely. It's the easiest thing to change uh, from week to week or day to day for that matter. You know, that's something that you can always control. You can't always control your, your physique and what's going to happen. You'd like to, but you can't always. And But your, your presentation, you can. Definitely. And you can't control the other competition. So as much as people like to think it's you know one competitor against another, really it's one competitor against themselves. The, the judging panel is going to be what's out there dictating exactly. who places where. So con concerning yourself with somebody else, really kind of useless. Right. That's what I say too. Is that what you say? You're going to be standing next to that person at one place or another at another show, so you might as well just compete against yourself. Well, most of the athletes seem to get along pretty good. It's more of like a big family, really, than, mm -hmm. than a bunch of competitors. So, um, Also, we've got some great NPC action. Uh, numbers are up a little bit this year yep. uh, here in Iowa and a lot of out-of-state competitors, which is a little strange. I would think most of them would come from here in Iowa. We were actually a little shocked at that, too. We, you know, Obviously, we're trying to grow the sport in the Midwest, um, so we thought that the numbers would be really good for the Iowa folks that live here. Um, but our numbers are really being drawn from just surrounding states and... Um, you know, but we'll take that too. Now, Ann, let me ask you this: with the guys, there's there's some strategy involved. Obviously, with obviously there's more prep time with the guys. They can't really go show to show like a lot of the girls do. Um, so there's some mentality of either qualifying early and then taking off to the Olympia. I don't see that really applying to the girls. I don't see girls like qualifying early at a show like this, and then you, like you don't see them until the Olympia. No, but, and again, I think it's just keeping your face out there and and making your mark. You know. Um, making them remember you. If you keep your face out there and oh yeah, she, oh I saw her three weeks ago. She looks great. So I think being consistent and just keeping your face there, I think that that's the key. All right. Well, the key to success we're going to be seeing tomorrow on stage. Lots of great competition, the NPC and the IFBB. So Ann, check back with us, of course. 
Uh, tomorrow, we'll get an update after the pre-judging, kind of see where your picks are, what the judges are looking at, and who looks like they might make it to the Olympia. Sounds good. I'll be here. All right. For Anthony Tony, this is Bob Chick signing off.